this video I'll be covering brushes and art sets for the studio line of products from Pixara. That includes every program that's in the studio bundle and that includes all the programs that are listed here on the right. I'm currently using Paint Studio but everything I'm covering in this video will apply to any of those programs in Studio Bundle. So basically anything but Pro Studio which has a different interface so the video wouldn't uh, be applicable. Here are the topics I plan to cover. Uh, so let's get started with uh, selecting brushes on the panel. The brush panel is here on the lower left and selecting a brush from the panel is really as simple as uh, clicking on one of the brushes. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. When it's highlighted it's available for use on your canvas. Select a different brush and now you're painting with a different brush. Accessing the art sets. So every brush in, in Twisted Brush as well as all the studio products all belong to an art set. So oil pastel is part of an art set. If we click the selected brush it pulls up the select brush dialog and that basically is showing you the art set that that brush is part of. So we can right now we can select a different brush from that art set and now we have it here selected in our our brush panel and now it's available for for use as well. But we're not limited to this slot only pulling a pastel brush from that art set. We could right click and get the list of art sets that are currently available within in this program. So maybe we want to pick a blender and now we have the blender art set and let's just pick Warp Blender 2 and now we have a different brush and it's a part of a different art set. If you click again it remembers what art set that brush belongs to. So each of the brushes, uh, moving on to brush uh, adjustments, each of the brushes has a size, density, and opacity value associated with it. So when you have a brush selected, let's uh, say we have oil pastel selected. It currently has a size of 44. Of course we can adjust that, something bigger, and we can adjust the density, which you can see the difference in, in the behavior of that brush as well as the opacity. And each of the brushes can have these uh, adjustments associated with it. And one thing to keep in mind is when you adjust the size of say an oil pastel, it doesn't affect the size of other brushes. So here I go to, to Warp Blender. It remembered its size I last had. So we can make that smaller. And we'll also go back then to oil pastel and it's still at its larger size. And we could also make that smaller and go to Warp Blender, etc. So each of these, each brush in the panel here retains the sizes, density, and opacity that you have selected. Now that doesn't apply to anything that's in your art set. The art set, anytime you pull anything from the art set, it's going to return to the default value. So right now we have a size of 30 for oil pastel. If we select it again from the art set by pulling up the select brush dialog, it's going to go return back to its default size. So that's if you ever change something and you want to go back to the default, you could always select it again from the art set. And for the simple adjustments here, it's not too big of an issue, but if you start changing things in the brush effects, then it becomes uh, perhaps more important to be able to do that. The other thing to point out here on the brush adjustments is the stylus checkbox. So if you have a drawing tablet connected to your PC you should see a stylus uh, checkbox and that just means if it's checked it means the pressure sensitivity of your stylus is going to be used to to drive the particular value. So here oil pastel I just unchecked the size, but I kept the density selected. So that means the harder I press, the more dense the brush will be. So here I'm doing it lightly and then harder. <clears throat> Let's clear that. So the we see the adjustments here and we see our, our brushes here. There's another way to get to the 
brushes and adjustments as well. If you right click on your canvas, so I'm going to right click, it pulls up the brush shortcuts, which is your brush panel. It's mirrored here, it remembers what brush you have, as well as you could also see brush adjustments right here. So you can select a different brush if you want, right from there. You could also adjust your size. So the advantage of this is it's closer to where you're currently working on your picture. So you don't have to go and select a different brush all the way over to the left hand side of your screen. You can right click and select. And that comes in handy when you're trying to s switch back and forth between multiple brushes. And that leads in well to this next topic, the shift plus click to duplicate a brush. So say we have the oil pastel, but we want to use two different sizes of that. We already know that the size is retained, so if we want to make another copy of that, we can do that two ways. We could either select another brush, the oil pastel, from the art set, or we can hold down the shift key and click, and now we have a duplicate of that brush here. So now we can change the size of one of them. We'll make this one smaller, uh, size 25, and this one a little bigger, 44. So now we have two of these oil pastels, two different sizes, and now you can use this and switch back and forth easily and quickly while you're working. So you can see the advantage of being able to do that. In addition to all the art sets that are included in each of the studio pro pro programs, there's also a set of user uh, art sets as well. So if you try to add a brush here or move or delete a brush, it's going to pop up a warning saying you're not allowed to change one of the art sets uh, that are part of the program. You have to use a user art set. So to get to a user art set, let's uh, select here. I'm going to right click, or I could click here on the little fly out arrow and it pulls up the pop-up menu and here we have user art sets 1 through 5 so now it's a blank art set you can start to add brushes to this and you can give it a unique name if you want you can tell it also whether you want to save the color information or brush information or effects size etc so the size and is equivalent to this color information if you if you click this it means that brush here is going to maintain its color separate from each of the other brushes in your in your your brush panel here so that's also handy when you're working with uh, maybe the same brush and you want to swap back and forth between multiple colors that you know maybe similar colors or different colors but it makes it easy to have the same brush with multiple colors uh, going back to the user art set again um, Again, you can click, you can make another copy of it, and if you want to delete, you could right click and delete brush. Now, with just the, what I'm showing you in this video, you wouldn't think there's too many reasons to have your own user set of brushes, but you can import brushes, and they'll be covered in another video, as well as for those who are interested in editing their own brushes, there's a full uh, brush effects uh, system that can be used to create all your own brushes as well. So when you start looking at those two options, importing brushes from other users or other programs, or creating your own or modifying your own brushes with the brush effects uh, system, then having, having a set of art sets that you could store those into uh, becomes quite important. That covers the the basics of brushes and art sets. There will be other videos for, uh, as I said, importing and exporting your brush codes as well as uh, an introduction to the brush effects panel. Thank you.